Okay, so this is going to be a um, hopefully quick video tutorial on uh, how to install the uh, 1.3 patch for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Uh, I'm going to show you how to install both versions, so the R117 and the R129. And uh, the first step, uh, a lot of people run into this problem, is uh, at least if you're using Chrome, it, you'll try to download it and it'll say, oh, this is malicious software, you can't download this. Um, but it's not, I can guarantee you, and I'll prove that by downloading it in the video. Um, but you're just going to want to go to your settings. Go to show advanced settings all the way at the bottom. And then you'll find this little box that says protect you and your device from dangerous sites. Now, I know it might sound stupid to uncheck it, but honestly, it's more harm than good. And uh, you're just going to want to uncheck that if you want to be able to download this. So once you've done that, um, if you're still having troubles downloading it, you might want to just uh, disable Windows Defender because that sometimes will block it as well. But um, yeah, so then once you've done that, you're just going to want to click this here. And then instead of just blocking it, it'll give you the option. It might cause on your computer and it won't. So then you just want to click Keep and uh, Show All. And now it's downloading. So I've got the video here and we'll be back. So now this is downloaded, and um, personally what I like to do is go to sh click show in folder, and then minimize your Chrome screen, and then just drag this up to your desktop. Alright, now from here, what you're going to do is extract the files from this file. Um, what you're going to need to do that is either uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally prefer and use 7-Zip, so that's what I'm going to um, link in the description. Um, and then you're just going to right click that, go up to 7-zip, and then extract here. I like to extract everything to the desktop because I feel like it's more organized and I can see what I'm doing rather than into some other like side folder. I don't really feel like I should have another window open for no reason. Okay. So now all of this will extract. Okay, so then what you're going to want to do from here is... Uh, open your file explorer go down to your C drive uh, I'm going to show you how to find the uh, path directory for the uh, disk version and for Star Wars and for the Steam version okay so then once you go to your C drive you're going to want to scroll down to program files x86 uh, now if you have the um, disk version then all you have to do from here is click on LucasArts and then click on Star Wars Battlefront and then game data I don't have the disk version I have the Steam version so if you have the Steam version, you're going to keep going down to here, go to Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then go to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And then go to da Game Data. And then, you're, again, if you have the disk version, go to Game Data. Uh, when it comes down to it, you're just going to basically, if you can't remember, find the folder that has Battlefront2.exe in it. Okay, then uh, I already have an add-on folder that has all types of mods, but if you don't have an add-on folder, just right-click, go to New, Call it add on, and there you go. But I don't need, I have no reason to make another add on folder. Okay, so then you're going to want to click on add on once you've done that. And then, um, actually, I'm just going to delete this for the purposes of this video and create a new folder. That's going to be called the same thing. The What this folder is called does matter. So you're going to want to call it capital AAA and then dash and then get rid of the caps. V 1.3 patch. Okay, and then that'll move that up there. And then all you have to do is take everything you extracted from here and move it into that folder. Now, once you've done that, um, before actually, before I move on, <coughs> um, you might want to make uh, a backup of the Imperial side folder and basically how you do that is you would open up your file explorer again or you could just do it through this window already but um, then you would go to the same game data folder and then click on data level PC and then um, you go down to side here and you'll see all these files and it might seem a little overwhelming but if you want to keep the imperial side which is the reason I like to keep the original imperial side folder is because or uh, file is because 
Um, it gets rid of the Imperial Gunner as the engineer and replaces it with the office, the, the officer, the armored officer, and then places it makes the officer an actual officer. But that doesn't make any sense to me. So um, I just removed this before installing it so that you have the original character models. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. If that's too confusing, just ignore everything I just said. Um, but from here, you're going to want to go to, uh, once you're in your AAV 1.3 patch folder, click on the menu.bat. If it doesn't let you open it, just run as administrator. And the way you would do that is just right-click it and click run as administrator. But it just lets it for me. And then press enter twice. You'll come to here. Uh, type in 1, obviously, because you want to install it. It'll install everything. It says it could not find it because I removed it. All right, and then that's it. The only thing you're probably I'm like 100% guarantee you're gonna want to do this because it'll ruin the HUD. Is it, it installs this stupid like big blue custom HUD, it's horrible, so just trust me, and then you're going to want to remove the HUD. If you, if you want to keep it for whatever reason, you can always come back and restore it, but um, I guarantee you the original HUD is much better. And then just exit. And there you go, that's the um, R117 version done. Then the last thing you have to do, if, if you decided to take the optional step to keep the original, uh, you know, imp that level folder, is go back to data, level PC, go back down the side, and put that back in there and then yeah replace the file and then that's it for um, that version and then uh, for here for the next one for the R129 version um, now I've gotten a lot of my mods from Mediafire but I'm just warning you right now um, if it comes up with pop-ups you just want to exit them don't trust what they say don't say it might say oh Chrome needs an update or something um, it doesn't it's a virus it's trying to install malware on your computer um, the download itself will not, but it will create pop-ups, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, see? And then that'll happen, but just exit those. Again, press keep. Go to show all. And then here you go. Again, it says that it's it's bad, but it's not. And again, I'm going to approve in this video. So then you just, this one you don't have to drag it to the desktop or anything since it's an EXE. But then you just want to click that. Press yes. It'll come up with this. Now this won't replace any of the character models or anything, so you can, if you you don't have to make a backup so of any of the imperial sides or whatever. And you keep going to the next. This is for the Steam version, by the way. This directory, this download path. So if you have the disk version, just change it to the disk version, and it'll install the same way. And then this, you're gonna want to uncheck Use V 1.2 HUD because that's the one we just got rid of because it's bad. So then you're going to want to go to next and then install. And you don't need to do that. And then that's it. That's, that's all you have to do for that one. It's way easier. So then, yeah, that's it. And then uh, just to show that it works, I'm going to go into Star Wars Battle Part 2. Okay, now really for the CIS, it doesn't change much except for the uh, weapons. So as you can see, he has like the Republic Commando shotgun here. And the Magna Guards have capes. You can see right there. But uh, that's all it does for the CIS. Um, it really doesn't change anything else for them. Uh, what it does change is a lot Our of the command post is under Confederacy control. And the 501st, as you can see now, is like this really cool blue and That's another command area. post under Republic yeah. control. Um, then there's a sniper. A command blue. post is now under hostile control. And now he has a uh, DC-15. It's like a DC-15 rifle. Okay, so it doesn't really change anything for the Rebels. As you can see, all the skins have stayed the same. But what it does change is the weapon. Fixing the turret. As you can see now, he has like a more real looking uh, A2AC, and then he also has a DC gun on DH17. We gained a command post! And that's really all it changes for the uh, Rebels. But then for the Empire, remember I removed that folder. So luckily now I still have this guy. But again, what it usually would have done is taken the armored Imperial officer, make him the engineer, and then put him the Imperial officer. So if you want that, you can go ahead We've and lost the command post. Take it back! We've captured a command post. post. Then, um, yeah. So that's, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching.
A command post has fallen to our enemies. How great,